I've called this show Flat Painting because I want to insinuate that flatness is just one of the possible options in terms of contemporary painting. My painting recently have projected out from the wall uh, and have projected into your space. And with this particular group of painting, I wanted to return to one of the traditional conventions in painting, which is flatness. It originated when I was working with archaeologists over the last two seasons, last two summers, on a Iron Age hill fort they were excavating in North Wales. Uh, I would take rolls of canvas up, up the hill and begin to process uh, the canvas in the actual landscape. So this would involve uh, working the colour into, into the uh, canvas. It would also involve putting the canvas onto the actual archaeological trenches, uh, which would give me a whole series of marks and kind of references to the landscape, which I would then cut out or puncture the actual canvases. So the kind of processing of the material for a painting would really begin when I was working with the archeologists. So i would take all that back to the studio and then I'll start really thinking about the individual form for paintings, the particular kind of color for paintings. A lot of it is about understanding scale, how you feel and respond to particular sorts of surfaces whether they're very soft or whether they're hard. So some, some canvases will be washed. Uh, they become very soft and that's something you're very aware of. That's a real important quality of the painting. If you're not using image, then the physicality of the work really is uh, the quality that communicates. So I think of all kinds of ways to invo involve, and really engage the viewer with the painting. Uh, one of them is to have the paintings that are open meaning you have open sides and you can see right through the actual work from the side. The reason why I do that is because I want the viewer to be able to move from side to side. The painting can be experienced as a frontal thing, which is a kind of convention, but also if you make someone move in front of the work, their experience is much more, much more based on uh, the senses and it's not just about the eye. It's, it's much more about the body and how we understand things physically. As a painter, I've really been aware that paintings criticized and there's been lots of kind of announcements of the death of painting, that painting is redundant and you know, painting doesn't have a place in a contemporary world. I've thought about this obviously uh, and I don't really agree. Um, what's really interesting at the moment with painting is to recognize that it has this history which is totally involved in image making, the growth of image, and has been complicit with the whole history of image making. Now, my kind of way of trying to think about this has been to try to move away from image, move away from using image, to find new qualities for painting, to find new things for painting to do. And I actually think because of its relationship to the creation of image making, it is in a really good position to critique the way that we currently use images in contemporary society.